is so much fun. Mmm, that's that's another call. Just spawn them in there. No. Finally. After like a thousand years, bro. Give me mount all my day, bro. Finally. For like a quad twelve years. Finally got a mount. Okay, well so um yeah. So basically currently on the quest for every single hammer um the only hammers we have are the gilded and the diamond one so we still need to get um so we still need to get the antler one the frost one the frost one's gonna be really annoying to get the granite one which should be really easy <laughs> then the infernal hammer um, and the wooden mountain, and the pumpkin one, although this doesn't look like a hammer, but it is, anyways, the infernal one, this one, I have finally got enough magma blocks, basically I just spent a lot, I just spent, I just did the AFK trick where you spam a title spell book at a single, as a singular magma blob, <laughs> but we can craft it. Finally, we're missing steel plates. I forgot about that. So, like, yeah. Oh, this goes really fast. It should be this. Is that enough? Okay, that's exactly enough. Uh, we don't might need to expand on that farm a bit. Anyways, finally, the infernal hammer. This hammer is really cool. So now, with our hammer collection, we got the gilded, the diamond, the infernal. Like, it looks really cool. Like I said, this is the first hammer, and I got it, and it looked really cool when I got it. Still looks really cool. And the diamond one. <laughs> which can't tell me this doesn't look cool. Like, bro, it looks so cool. Right? And then we got and then we got the infernal hammer. Right? And we got the we got chambers. Like look at it. Look at that flame, the magma blocks. The steel plates are just the screw thing. Does it not look cool? It looks so cool. Anyways, that's gonna be it for now. I need to, yeah, I've been not, I've been not on my island for too long, so now I'm gonna be on my island, cause like, yeah. Now I can teleport to my wedding fingers. Just teleport me. Be there. So like, I can wait, I can change the scene to, if I add another source, like, text, um, text, okay, so yeah, go, I got broom wound. So it gets, yeah, cut, just makes, create, okay, that should, then, um, okay, so look, so, um, 
from last episode. You know, the berry pancake farm. It was not working, so I kind of changed it. Now we got two main parts. We got the part that makes sweet pancakes. Then we got turkey and there's just farming um, raspberries. I'm probably going to replace that tier 2 chest, which is a normal. And oh, because there's not enough raspberries in there for there to be a tier 2. And also I got a horse. Yeah, I finally spawned the horse because in one of my, I think in episode 0 or something like that, I bought a horse egg and then never used it. Anyway, you're probably wondering why there's a giant dome of glass around here without any roof. And that's because, for some reason, if I actually made an actual box, the turkeys would use this area. That's why they're, like, right here. They're always harvesting this one bush. So I'm gonna remove it. Basically, they were getting, yeah, it's because they were stuck on that one area. Get out of here, please. See, they're, what they're, what they're pathfinding is trying to do. Because also, uh, over here, you can see down there, there's a farm. There's an auto farm, kind of, a manual auto farm, kind of, you know what I mean, like, but whatever. Basically, I think the pathfinding and the turkeys is trying to make them, like, whenever I put a roof, they would, like, collide into the berry basket and then teleport onto the roof, which is how they kept escaping, which is really stupid, so I made it so there is no roof. Even if they did teleport, they would teleport up here, and then they can just immediately fall back down. That's why they're just, there's no roof. That's why they never escaped in my old berry farm. Anyways, um, so I broke it down, and also now, I get, because I'm actually crafting the berry pancakes, I get cooking XP, which is pretty good. And then if I stone, because I ripped out the stairs from this, because I thought it was... Because, like, yeah, the turkeys, they're trying to pathfind towards all of these berries down here. Which is not good. Because that means they're trying to escape. And we can't let them escape. Because if they escape, then no more berries for us. Which means we can't craft the pancakes. So they're trying to pathfind to at least one of these berry bushes. Any of them doesn't really matter. They're trying to pathfind to it. So the turkey, the berry basket, it's the best way because weird things, it like, you know, teleports them up. So that's why they're always stuck there. But then once the pathfinding gives up, the please press seeds, you can't press seeds. Once the pathfinding gives up, um, it, they just harvest a raspberry and it goes into the basket. So it's not as efficient. I'm pretty sure if I remove this farm, it would become more efficient. But, um, yeah. And then, like, let me show you how this farm would work. Just need to get rid of all this stuff. Because we don't like flowers and random rocks. So basically, you get out a sickle. This, is, this isn't that complicated. You could probably build this yourself. All you need is an obby flag and conveyors. They don't have to be tier 1. They could be tier 2. But I would recommend them to be tier 1 because they're nice and cheap and they go really slow. So basically, you know how a sickle works. You click and it harvests a bunch of stuff. So you basically just turn on an auto flicker. Then it starts harvesting them. And then because the conveyor is pushing you, you, get, you harvest a bunch of them. That's how the farm works. It's pretty, you know, it's not that it's not that complicated it's honestly kind of shrimple but that's not the point um anyways i there's the only other thing i changed is i finally i removed the tier 2 chest from this 
because I implemented my Steam generator to get the power to the coal outputs there. This is just these lights. I like to use, I don't know if people actually do this, but if you use LEDs, um, get out my wire tool because I'm gonna remount this. So basically, yeah, I made an, an, you know, off switch to this, because, like I said, the onion farm was getting really laggy, so, like, I like to use LEDs to, like, make the wire look nice, and even, and not all over the place, because otherwise this would try to go straight towards this totem disabler. Also, I don't know if you have to put totem disablers this much, because I feel like this totem disabler, or even this one, should also go down 10 blocks, and then it's like a box radius, but I don't know, just to be safe, I just put 10 of them. So now, so now if I really need money, I can just turn that off, and then basically, if this light is on, the farm's off, but if it's off, then the farm's on. Then this light will remain on at all times if it's off then the steam generator isn't working it's not that hard it only took me like maybe 20 minutes to set up because i had to get all the resources to make the totem disablers the resource that it's kind of hard to get wasn't red bronze because my red bronze stuff was working pretty good it was it was electrite because like electrite's really annoying to get it was Electra and Steel Bolts because I was making so many gearboxes. But anyways, also what I've been doing is farming, or not farming, cooking. Just cooking. I want to be able to craft Flanhorn Pancakes. It's Flanhorn Pancake. Right, so. I see with the Beast Berry ones. I have like way too many blueberries. As I craft very more and I get like a bunch of cooking XP. So it's nice. I can just just make whatever honestly. I don't really use any of this stuff, but it gets me XP, so why not? Um and then I could make this bowl. Actually I should make the I get the sandwich. Because the sandwich gives you a bunch, a little bit more XP, so yeah, should have done that. So now I don't get as much XP. Um, I could just make an Astro Banana. See, now I'm 66, because I got Truffle Peak stuff. Which I'm never going to use Truffle Peak, so really. And then, uh, oh god, now I gotta cook the dough to completely pour core it up. So anyways, I made a bunch of blueberry dough and stuff, and I have this set up here, why isn't I have this set up here? I made timed input outputs, so they set for 5 seconds, so if I just shove an astronomical amount of dough in here, it starts cooking it. And then more dough. And then just make some more cookies, cause why not? I'm just gonna put whatever in here, it doesn't really matter that much. Right. And then it gets smelted, not smelted, baked I guess. And then just kinda auto click this, cause I made it so they go into the same chest heads. It's pretty simple, not that much, it's not that hard. Uh, nothing else really changed. So yeah, this episode's gonna be shorter. Cause, yeah, I just wanted to get the boom mount over and done with. Cause it's so annoying to see the boom mount thing there is so annoying, bro. Anyways, yeah. That's gonna be it. Okay, so, if you can tell by my uh, hotbar, 
I may or may not have been just farming for a little bit. Anyways, we can get the Mega Plow. The mega plow, 30 steel blades. Yeah, I don't really care. Give me the mega plow. I got the mega plow. Yeah, glory. I got the mega plow. So, hey, if you didn't see last episode, I got the broom out. So, like, yeah. I do the broom. Okay, that isn't as much as I thought it would be. But that's still pretty good. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, that's gonna be it for right now. I got the Mega Plow. Just, you know, good. Um. Okay, so, like, yeah. Okay, so. Um. So, we got enough oak to make the mallet. Cost 40, not 50. That's fine. And then. So now we got the mallet, the, the gilded hammer, the wart diamond hammer, the infernal one. So, the next step is getting the granite one, which we have 13 granite, which isn't enough, but it's gonna get. Um, can I buy a totem? Is that a thing? Can I just buy a totem? I'm never gonna really use this, also, why is it restricted tradable? Like, why? It doesn't need to be restricted tradable, that's like... Bro... Uh... They just seriously max up. I guess because it costs, um, stone instead of, co yeah, it costs stone instead of wood. Uh, like, this is the highest I've ever gotten a totem to. I can't believe I maxed it. Did that use on my key boxes? I think it did. I don't know. We don't even need as much granite. We already have enough. Yeah, that that used nine gear boxes. Bro, that's expensive. Well, gotta cut the stupid. So, will they use copper for this? That uses all random things. We got the mallet, and then the mallet, and then the, uh, what is it, the granite hammer, then the gilded one, the diamond one, and then the inferno. So it goes mallet, then the granite, then the hammer, then the diamond hammer, then the Infernal hammer. Why does it have to? Yeah. So that's kind of it for now. 
say, well, I wasn't recording. Well, um, so, you know. So, I don't know if I recorded the last part then, basically, I don't know, actually I'll, I'll make sure if I did record it and if I waste my time explaining this, but basically, second copper set it up into bolts, because yeah, uh, and then I, ma I made another one over there, for just ingots. Because while I was making the other one, I realized it didn't have a second press, a second copper press, and I didn't have any copper, and copper is annoying to smelt because you can only smelt it in furnaces, in, in smelters, like, if you put it in a small furnace, copper just doesn't show up even though I should have, see I have 8 ore. Right, and it doesn't show up here either, because this only makes steel, which is kind of annoying. So you have to make it in a smelter, which is annoying. So, yeah, I'm just making a copper thing, because I need copper anyways, just raw copper. And then with that copper, I'm going to make another press and make plates, copper plates. So anyways, I haven't finished that one. I need a put actually I should just put this chest here. Cause I'm gonna overclock this. And then look, the petroleum's instantly in the petrifier before the yeah, even how oh, you can see it coming all the way here, but it's already there. It's kind of funny. Um, yeah. Oh god. Um, uh, you wanna know something that I found kind of weird? Uh, let me show you. Uh, let me change this really quick. So, okay, wait, look. So something I found kind of weird about oil is, so this is Evie's video where he explains it. Like this was a while ago. You can see there's a this little like thing that shows where you're gonna put the oil pipe. But if, but like they removed it, like. It, it doesn't show me. There's no indicator. There, n there hasn't been. Like, they just kind of just remove that at some point. It's just kind of weird. So like, yeah. I don't know why they did that, or if it's just another bug, or whatever. But it's kind of annoying. Also, I don't know if I'm now overflowing this. Because one, so a copper ore comes in as you can now we're fine. Um, that's looking pretty good. I need to make some more pipes. Just give me a second. Can I please stop tapping this Pretty thing? nice. It's actually a really nice system, but... Oh yeah, you might notice that this menu is different, the, uh, and also the graphics slider. But I I got the thing, like you know, the thing, uh, the thing, like uh, what is it? This the block strap thing. I only got it because FP. I only got it because, uh, FPS unlocker, right, but it has a bunch of other cool things. I don't know, if you want to get it, that's what it's called. 
Right, I don't know if it's actually doing anything to my FPS because I have it on the... It's more than 60, but it's not consistent. If I turn down that all the way down to 1, should get 144, but barely. Because, like... Oh, that's kind of... I don't know. See, it's kind of peaking at like a hundred, and then it like drops to eighty. Honestly, it's fine. I don't really care. I don't care that much. Uh, what was he doing again? Oh yeah, I need to make more pipes. Um, another thing that they probably didn't record. I made. Why haven't I been using this? I yeah, I made. They finally fix the orbs. They finally fix them being broken. Which is nice. Cause like now I can finally do things. Uh fifty. Cause like yeah. So, I'm gonna overclock that as well, cause why not, actually I should figure out where my third copper island's gonna spawn, I need to go get one of those. And also, th there's too many blocks and whatever. Also, I spent way too many. I spent like 100 red bonds on all of these disablers. I'm not even gonna use this, so I'm gonna tear this down. I'm gonna do that later, because yeah, I'm gonna go do something else. So. Look. I'm gonna split this episode between episode 4 and 5 because, um, look, it's like, okay, well, you can see that I took down the, the onion farm. I haven't really done that much else because I was kind of just thinking about this. The whole thing of me starting not from the beginning like literally every other island series like every other island series they always start from the beginning but i kind of just started you know with all this right and uh, yeah also we got mastery of forger Ma master of forging so that's cool that's good so like the thing about this is normally you know you start from the very beginning and like complete goals from the beginning but since i already had all of this you know normally getting to this point would take maybe like 20 or so episodes maybe less i don't know right if you were to get from to this point without just starting at this point right the thing is i can't you know this series just started with you know all of this so it's kind of like there isn't a good goal to really work towards i mean there is but like you know it's kind of like all the harder things are already done they're already completed because i got them like immediately right so i don't i haven't been <laughs> having any good ideas on what to make content for other than like in like six hours from now the halloween update's gonna come out which is gonna be really nice so like yeah anyways uh let me just show you this so in the last clip where i destroyed the onion farm 
since then it's been like two days maybe three i don't know i can't really remember um i i've been afking at this chest just collecting copper like for like two days straight so i have almost 30,000 copper also i've been just kind of sitting get, getting bolts rods and plates you know just to make some more tier 2 stuff um so i completed all the copper things i want to do i took out the iron from this because before we had this splits the gold into these chests and then the iron into two steel mills which gives us ingots which is good for uh it's good for the steel rods and just ingots in general because the the rest of the steel farm there just makes bolts and plates which you know you want to automate those but this is kind of easier right uh don't ask why i have so many chests here right so i removed the iron from here because it was just bottlenecking the steel farms so that was annoying um oh yeah since i got master of forging i've been trying to get my farming up i'm almost at 98 i've been on 97 for like forever now but i've been expanding this berry farm like a lot like before it took like three and a half minutes to complete now it takes four minutes and 14 seconds to complete uh, which still isn't enough time for it to complete but as you can see here you fall into the second floor because the reason why there's a second floor is I knew like you can't build anymore like I'm clicking but it doesn't let me build past this point like I knew you can't build out forever right but i didn't think it would come this fast so yeah so i made a second floor uh so yeah so then this goes on for a bit longer i should put more seeds here i got like oh my, never mind i'm not gonna put seeds there but yeah so i have like I have like 10,000 red, uh, red berries, and almost 20,000 blackberries, and I mean, I'm gonna say I have way too many blueberries. Yeah, almost 100,000, bro. Wait, let me farm one. Oh my god, bro. Uh, pancake farm. Let me farm like, there. So now, hundred thousand blueberries. Is that a hundred? Yeah, that's a hundred thousand. That's so much. Sweet pancakes. I have sixty-seven thousand sweet pancakes and almost five thousand raspberries. So yeah, I found that this raspberry, this large chest, is actually useful because I've been AFKing for so long to where it just builds up so many raspberries the only bottleneck here is the wheat so i might have to make this wheat bigger i mean i definitely could do that because there's like no wheat i don't even have any wheat i just have crates i don't know why i haven't sold those yet so yeah i haven't really been doing anything because bored like that's why i've been uploading geometry dash videos because i just kind of got a bit bored and also kind of and also things are getting kind of busy like real life stuff whatever right so yeah i'm gonna keep uploading islands content especially with the halloween update that's mostly what i was just waiting for and it's coming out in six hours, so like, yeah. That's why I'm gonna split it. 
Oh yeah, also another thing I did. I don't know if I recorded this, but I, cause I kept, I kept getting a bunch of bolts. I just made everything go into directly into plates for now. So we have 671 plates. Also, we have almost 1.2.2k worth of red bronze which is a lot so yeah anyways that's kind of gonna be it for this video i just wanted to get this out now because i can't i can't keep stalling like can, that's kind of just what's been happening i've just been waiting for the halloween thing and it's gonna come out really soon so yeah so like bye